Welcome, tech enthusiasts and AI aficionados, to the epic showdown of the digital titans. Today, we're diving headfirst into the electrifying world of AI, where Gemini, Google's latest creation, is ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the mighty GPT-4. It's a battle of wits, a clash of algorithms, and a showdown of epic proportions. Get ready for a front-row seat as these two AI powerhouses engage in a head-spinning duel to determine who will reign supreme in the realm of artificial intelligence. Buckle up, because you're about to witness the future of AI like never before. As you can see, Google is preparing to completely transform the industry with this new artificial intelligence project called Gemini. This is Google's latest endeavor in the field of large language models, and it's really next-level stuff that rivals ChatGPT and MightyGPT4 in terms of understanding and generating natural language. You won't want to miss this one, so make sure to watch the entire video. Generalized Multimodal Intelligence Network is the full name, and it's essentially this incredibly potent AI system that can manage several kinds of data and tasks simultaneously. We are already aware of AI working tasks like question answering, summarization, translation, captioning, sentiment analysis, and so forth. However, here's the catch. We're talking about text, images, audio, video, even 3D models and graphs. Now let's talk about how Gemini works. Basically, Gemini uses a brand new architecture that combines two main components, a multimodal encoder and a multimodal decoder. The encoder's job is to convert different types of data into a common language that the decoder can understand. However, Gemini isn't just one single model, rather, it's a network of models all working together to deliver the best results possible. Then the encoder turns the input into a vector that captures all of its features and meaning, and the decoder takes over, generating outputs in various modalities based on the encoded inputs and the task at hand. For example, if the input is an image and the task is to generate a caption, the encoder would turn the image into a vector. The decoder would then generate a text output that describes the image. When compared to other large language models like GPT-4, Gemini has several advantages that make it unique and special. Firstly, it is simply more adaptable, it can handle any type of data and task without the need for specialized models or any kind of fine-tuning. Additionally, Gemini is more efficient overall because it uses less memory and computational power than other models that must handle multiple modalities independently. It also employs a distributed training strategy, which enables it to maximize the use of multiple devices and servers to speed up the learning process. Finally, Gemini can learn from any domain and data set without being boxed in by predefined categories or labels, making it more capable of handling new and unseen scenarios than other models that are trained on specific domains or tasks. Since parameters are numerical variables that act as the model's learned knowledge, allowing it to make predictions and generate text based on the input it receives, the best part about Gemini is that it can scale up to larger datasets and models without compromising its performance or quality, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. When it comes to size and complexity, one of the most common metrics people look at to measure a large language model is its parameter count. Basically, more parameters mean more potential for learning and producing diverse and accurate outputs. However, having more parameters also means using more memory and processing power to train and run the model. With 1 trillion parameters, are roughly 6 times as many as GPT 3.5 feet s 175 billion, GPT-4 is one of the largest language models ever created for Gemini. Google says that it comes in four sizes, Gecko, Otter, Bison, and Unicorn. They haven't disclosed the precise number of parameters for each size, but we can infer from some clues that the Unicorn is the largest and most likely has parameters that are similar to those of GPT-4, if slightly less. Before I give you a few examples of what it can do, let me just say that Gemini is more creative and interactive than other LLMS. It can produce outputs in a variety of modes depending on the preferences of the user and it can even produce unique and diverse outputs that aren't restricted by pre-existing data or templates. For instance, Gemini can produce original stories or poems based on audio clips or images. Now, let's talk about how it can perform tasks that are longer and more varied than those in the GPT-4. I'll give you a couple examples. Asking a question that involves multiple types of data, such as text and images, such as, who is this famous celebrity? And, what is the name of this item? While showing some random everyday use item, are examples of the multimodal question answering that Gemini is capable of. Gemini's combination of its abilities to comprehend text and images allows it to provide answers to these queries. Multimodal summarization is another amazing feature it offers. Let's say you have a piece of information that is composed of various data types, such as text and audio. 
Gemini can accomplish all of that by combining its abilities in auditory and textual comprehension. Thirdly, multimodal translation is required when translating information that contains several different data types, such as text and video. Imagine you need to create subtitles for a movie trailer or video lecture in a different language. Gemini can accomplish this by fusing its expertise in textual and visual translation, so we can't help but conclude that Google's Gemini is something to look forward to. That's it for today. If you found the video informative, please like and subscribe to our channel.